Okay. Now in this next part, we are going to be talking about the criteria that we need to look at. So the 50 centimeters, the 2.5 kilograms, and our budget that we need to keep under. As long as, as well as our constraints, things that we're gonna be limited by, and work on our design. So there's a lot of different options that we can use uh, to meet our criteria and to work with our constraints. So it just depends on the kind of bridge that we want to use and the style of bridge. There's a lot of different styles of truss bridges. Uh, we can kind of mesh that together with an arch bridge. Uh, we won't actually be using a whole lot of the suspension bridge or um, beam bridges. Beam bridges at this, lay, at this uh, length are not going to be as effective. So the basics that I would probably start with is straight across. Now I could make it an arch like I said, uh, but for now I'm just going to make it a basic truss bridge. So I'm overlapping a little bit on the edges, I'm going to go up and I'll make my basic shape. So at this point I can make a bunch of triangles because triangles are the strongest shape. Okay, basic design. Uh, it is probably best to make it symmetrical. It's a good way to go about it. Uh, but at this point, I can change it up a lot. I can add strength this way. I can add more triangles. Um, I can add a truss on the bottom here. That's gonna add some rigidity to uh, this middle section here. Uh, there's a lot of different options. Once you come up with a design that you think is structurally the best and maybe even run it through a simulator online and see where those uh, members are going to need to be strengthened, like on the edges here or maybe in the middle, uh, where those ones are most likely to fail, you can decide which design you want and move on to the next step which is putting on a graph paper and making a blueprint. Now with this blueprint, we're gonna take some graph paper and for, well, depending on how long it is, uh, we're gonna be using three pieces of graph paper since we will be doing uh, the one that is 50 centimeters long. That's the one that uh, we'll be using for our criteria. Now it's best to line up the graph paper as best you can so that the lines are as straight as possible. Then we take a look piece of tape and put them together. Now the reason I'm doing this and not just scaling it down is that I'm going to use this blueprint later on to just lay my toothpicks on there. First I'll lay down some wax paper over this. Wax paper you can see through, but the glue, once it dries, will just peel right off of it. Whereas if I lay it straight on my blueprint, put some glue on it, whatever, it'll ruin my blueprint and I won't be able to use it anymore. So this is going to help us save our blueprint, but make a design that we can replicate. 